Recently, an interview with Josh Gad and Daisy Ridley has exposed Lucasfilms with no plan for the sequels at all. Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Imperial Theory. And just five days ago, an interview with Josh Gad and Daisy Ridley exposed Lucasfilms with no plan for the sequels, which explains why the character progression is very bad, and today I'll be going over the interview and why Lucasfilm lied to us. As we all know, Daisy Ridley has had to keep it a secret about Rey's true identity and her being Palpatine's granddaughter, but in this interview, she exposes Lucasfilm and the sequels actually had absolutely no plan for for Rey's parentage and basically just winged the entire sequels, which, once again, is why the, the character progression is so bad, because they just went with the flow. With the beginning of filming of The Force Awakens, they were actually thinking of making Rey's Obi-Wan Kenobi's granddaughter instead of Palpatine and having a connection with Obi-Wan, which would actually make sense because in The Force Awakens, when she touches Anakin Skywalker and has the flashbacks, on the Starkiller base we can actually hear old Obi-Wan say Rey, and then after the flashbacks he says, these are your first steps. Then, at the end of Rise of Skywalker, when she was reaching out to all the Jedi, we can hear Obi-Wan once again say Rey, but then he says, Rey, these are your final steps, rise and take them, indicating the rise of Skywalker, as well as the end of the sequel trilogy, and they were just unsure and made Rey basically a no one, so as we can see, J.J. Abram and Lucasfilms had no clue what to do with Rey's character arc, whether to make her, you know, strong with the force and way too overpowered or secretly evil when she doesn't even know it and so we got a lot of mixed ideas with Rey's complete character by the rise of skywalker all the way up until rise of skywalker jj abrams pitched daisy ridley rise of skywalker and told disney that yeah you're palpatine's granddaughter and after that he actually said that they weren't sure this shows that lucasfilms and jj abrams had have finally been exposed that they lied and practically winged the entire sequel trilogy, which is why I still think George Lucas should have directed the sequel trilogy. They also kept switching back and forth between Palpatine's granddaughter and just no one and Kenobi's granddaughter, which is probably one of the reasons why when in The Last Jedi looked into the mirror and asked to see her parents, it simply showed her which when they were filming that scene and at that part of the sequel trilogy, J.J. Abrams was still uncertain whose Rey's parents really were, as well as her heritage. So basically, Daisy Ridley exposed Lucasfilms and J.J. Abrams, and we were all lied to. They had absolutely no plan whatsoever for Rey to name herself a Skywalker or any of the stuff you saw in the sequel trilogy. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see Mandalorian Season 2 weekly updates, all coming out on Fridays or Sundays, as well as all Star Wars related content such as theories, comics, the expanded universe of Star Wars, as well as questions or video suggestions that you guys have in the comments, and may the Force be with you.